embarrassed I'm still a shy vlogger but yeah we're in London today and I thought I would vlog because we're doing some fun stuff and I'm gonna talk to you in a bit because I have to go through the ticket barrier so I'll let you know what we get up to is periscoping. <laughs> I'm vlogging, it's a nightmare. Yeah. So I kind of know where we are now. Heading towards the river and then hopefully to find the aquarium because we've got a little bit lost. But it's okay. Because we found some birds. And well, I'll let you know if we actually find the aquarium. <laughs> London! St. Paul's Cathedral! Pretty thing! I love London, I've missed it so much, haven't been here for so long and it's rubbish, I need to come to London more. Kirsty's still periscoping, <laughs> I'm just trying to find the river. I don't know where the river is. Much okay, London, London, <laughs> London life, living London life. Well we found the river guys, Sam's navigational skills are amazing. <laughs> Thing. Hello England. Yeah, we're just gonna go crossing over the river now and then Kirsty's turn to navigate to get to the aquarium. <laughs> Do you know where it is, Kirst? Over there. It's literally next to the London Eye, so Okay, we can see the London Eye. Just keep heading so, to the London Eye, we'll be fine. Super fun aquarium. I'll let you know. If we get lost, <laughs> this footage is going to be the last footage of us where we're lost and abandoned in London. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> we just found the Mad Hatter, the Mad Hatter Hotel and Pub. Kirsty, we need to go over drinking the Mad, Mad Hatter. A cup of tea, maybe? A cup of tea? <laughs> we found the London Eyeball. There it is. The river and London and oh pretty 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 you can actually see Big Ben kind of behind the London Eye kind of yeah not really because it's in the way I can actually see the sign of the Sea Centre which means we didn't get lost we didn't buy and we made it <laughs> I just have vlogging inside know where I'm really. <laughs> yeah we do know where we're going I helped us at the start near St Paul's and then Kirsty got us here so that was totally teamwork and now we're going to see fishes, see if we can find Nemo. There you go guys, I just had to get some footage of the old Big Ben from the house's apartment. And there you go. That is it. They've got a sign there for the Shrek. And look, they've got Kung Fu Panda in there. Okay, so what's the photo, Lexi? She wants a photo. Photo! <laughs> guys, we found the aquarium and we're walking above the fish tank. This is so cool. Look at the sharks! Oh my god. Oh, look at the shark! <laughs> oh my god. This is so cool. And it's really dark. Where are the fishies? I can't believe I just walked over sharks. That was cool. Well, it's busy. Why, well, hello there, Mr. Fish. There's a fluffy ball thing, I'm not quite sure what that is. Does anyone know? Oh, he's so cool, look at him! Tucked his fins in. Oh, James, yeah. Look at that. 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 Jellyfish. Kind of weird. Apparently, 90% of the sun has done a fish bath in water. And then just on it. Jelly. Like I said, they're little. 
Mari kita terus. Dropping my camera in this water. <laughs> There's lots of fishies. Hey, dude. Hey, Yay. There we come. Red belly piranhas because they have red bellies. Fancy its teeth. Fancy its teeth. Open your mouth, come on, let me see. That one is. Oh, uh, oh, show us your teeth, Mum. You see his teeth? Flesh eating beasts. Okay. Look at the size of these fish. I don't know what they are, but they are damn huge. This one here is just like the daddy. Well, fish, you're in the way. <laughs> I'm trying to get the giant cash fish at the back because Tom won't see that. He loves catfish. Look at him, is that black and white? Why are you going in the dark bit, catfish? Oh, there's another one there. He's huge. We found the turtles and they're just sunbathing. <laughs> so funny, look at them. Yeah. <laughs> Like we're just sitting here getting some sun. And that one's just bathing and yeah, some little swimmers. Oh, really cute. I want that one to go over to that one. Which Kirsty wants to kiss the fish. Look at him. Looks like he's had lip fillers. <laughs> hey, Pete Burns. <laughs> <laughs> It's Kirsty Cam. I've taken over Sam's camera while she's gone to the loo. And it's an awesome day seeing some fishes. I'm so happy to be reunited with my Sam Sam. I'm very emotional because we're going to be seeing Miss Saigon very, very soon. And it's the final matinee. We love you, Sam. We do. We love you, Sam. So hey guys, we got out of the aquarium, we made it out alive, we didn't get eaten by the sharks, what did you think? It was good, yeah, it's a shame we couldn't see the penguins, and yeah. it was a bit crowded at points, but yeah, it was good. Yeah, I, I wish it would be the penguins there, because I love penguins, but we saw the puffer fish, and I love puffer fish. I love seahorses. And they were there, cute. and the sharks were cool, and we made a new friend called Ozzy, and Aussie. what was he called, what was the fish? A cross between a ray and a shark, was it? Yeah, something like that. A yeah. guitar fish? A, yeah, guitar. <laughs> it had a guitar thing. in the title. Um, because it had a guitar in the title, we thought it was a bit of rock and roll, so we decided to call him Ozzy. <coughs> and I got a bit of footage of him, actually. You probably see him earlier. Yeah. What are we going to do now? We're going to walk? Uh, yeah, let's have a little walk. Um, we've got the Disney store in Covent Garden hang out. And... Might have to go to the Disney store in Covent Disney Garden. Garden. <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> Apparently Kirsty tells me it's not called Big Ben, Big Ben is the inside, and then this, the tower is for something else. I don't know, but I'm just her. 
So yeah, Houses of Parliament all over there. Lots of people, lots of people. Big Ben and a crane. That's the charm. And the eye. And the Thames. So yeah, as you can tell, I'm definitely in London. It's definitely London. It's not like Paris or Berlin. I'm in London. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, we found the Disney store, we're in Covent Garden, and we found the Disney store. Uh, there we go, what's in the window? Rapunzel. Rapunzel, Belle, Ariel. Let's go in! Oh, look at the cushions, they've got Simba. So hey guys, we've made it to TGI Friday. Yeah. We're going to get some food um, to refuel. It's really cold out there, so I've my scarf on. I should take it off really while I'm in here. Looking forward to some food, Cass? Very much. I'm starving. I'm going to have breakfast. She's going to have breakfast. I'm going to have, I think I'm going to have roasted veg pasta. Is that weird? It's fancy though, and I'm having a lemonade because I always find lemonades really refreshing. So I'll let you know what we get, I guess. Really like music in there. I just took a bite of my garlic bread bite, guys, but this is what I had, right? I did have the vegetable pasta. Okay, so I decided to have veggie pasta too. Yummy! <laughs> you are hungry, you're gonna have this, just some TTIs. Oh, probably have a little mix about after, and then we've got Miss Saigon final shows. I'm just at the stage door for Miss Saigon. There's, I don't know, someone there. I don't know who she is, I'm sorry. She's one of the swing. She's a swing to the show. There you go. But there's people waiting to meet like the theatre people because it's the last day today. So this is stage door, the actual entrance is like down there to the left. Um, which I will show you in a little bit, but yeah. It's theatre madness people, theatre madness. Some more theatre people outside. Some more actors, that guy's in there. I don't know who they are. I'm just like, stage door people. Kirsty knows, I just support her. Weird stage door standing by. It's <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> a lot more principal people over there now. People are waiting for the cast members of Miss Saigon to arrive for work. I'm not sure if they all are. Kirsty's look better at this than me. People are just crowding for a long time meeting and saving lives. Crazy and busy over there now. Kirsty's periscoping. And I can see it being even busier after the evening show tonight. So yeah, there's the, one of the, that's the guy that plays Chris, one of the main characters, the main roles, whatever you call it. Yeah, so there you go guys, if you're a theatre fan, <coughs> stage draw goodness. So here's the Prince Edward Theatre, where Mr. Gone is playing today only, because then it's finished. So, yeah, this is the theatre. Final day for Mr. Gone. So today's cast list for everyone. I don't know what these people are. Final Miss Saigon cast list, and there's Tanya, the last the last alternate Kim performance. There's some vlogging. There you go, guys. Oh my god! Guy, I've just seen this. What? We've got the second cover, Ellen, on Natalie Chua. Is that good? She's Asian. She's supposed to be Chris's American wife. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh my God. Where's your Kirsty has the magic tickets, the final matinee with the goal. Looking forward to it. Very sad. <laughs> She's a really bit of crazy girl. I am um, looking forward to it. Let me turn my camera around so I can see you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, but like. I see, it's theatre madness today. It's a theatre madness, people. It's just crazy. And I'm, I'm feel like a fraud. I'm doing it and it's fun, but uh, I am going to see like a rock band lay down. Yes. It's going to be good. So yeah, I'm just going to chill out. I'm going to make me like a weird because I'm <laughs> in the theatre. So, it's the final one. It's the final countdown. This is like, oh, oh. So hey guys, we're in the theatre. <laughs> okay, she's having a bit of a cough. I'm dying. She's dying. Um, I'll be dead before yeah, the show. Yeah, I'm going to talk long in here because she's singing. People are looking at us like we're weird. Um, Don't so, yeah. give a damn, dear. I know, she doesn't give a damn, vlog. but I always do. So yeah, we're at right, second row. You are a vlogger. Um, I'll let you know how we get on. So hey guys, um, we've made it to the matinee. 
And what are you feeling so far? Very, very sad. Tanya's amazing and I loved her. She did a little riff at the end of I Give My Life For You there. And um, I just love that about her. She's so different, every single performance. And we've got understudies galore here. Even on the final day, it's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, see, I don't know half like if there are understudies or not, but Kirsty's okay, been keeping me informed. Although the guy that plays the engineer, John John's not on you, though he's supposed to be. Yeah. And who's the guy that's playing him today? Chuck um, Christian Marbella. He's really good. Yeah, he's think. actually really good. Yeah, he's um, he's pretty good at it. And I'm sure the kid's got bigger since I last saw. Yeah. The kids grow. The kids grow. <laughs> That'll be white ending. Tam's got too big. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, really enjoying it so far. We've just got the second half. Um, Tom's actually on his way up to London now. He's probably in London already, because um, he's going to meet us after the show, because we're going to go over to Camden, and then we're going to do my thing, the rock thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll speak to you after the show, guys. Hi. So guys, we just got out of my cycle. The last time you will see this facade. It was sad. <laughs> I, I might have had a little. I know. <laughs> Sad, and I was like, I'm sad because I had a little, whatever, a little cry. Yeah. But um, we just met Tommy. He's just gonna have a pee, and then we're gonna get the tube. We've got to head down to Camden because I got Wednesday 13. The doors are like just over an hour. So we've got to say bye to Kirsty already. Oh my god! Feels like we've only seen each other for like five minutes. <laughs> I know. Um, so yeah, we're saying, do you want to say bye to everybody? Yeah. Bye everyone. <laughs> I'm still here though. I'll be vlogging in a bit, and when I get to Camden, so watch this space. Yeah. This is where we are, Underworld for Wednesday 13, who is my most favourite singer for years and years. And it's a guy with Bob and Cray t-shirt and that is fucking cool. <laughs> that rocks. <laughs> yeah, totally can't wait. Hey guys, we're actually in the venue now, we're in the Underworld and we've got a new friend called Chris. Hello. He's been giving us like good chat about Wednesday because he's a fellow Wednesday 13 fanatic. So we're just waiting for him to come on. place it was 200 people it was sold out there's like no backstage or anything we had to like walk down a hallway and just kind of push the crowd back to get on stage and uh shh, i'm talking over here <laughs> and uh see we, we, we get on stage the crowd is going crazy and the thing i i, I can't tell I don't, I don't know if when people are doing this to me from the audience i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing so i have all these fuck songs so people are either doing this or this and sometimes i'm like oh does that guy like me or does he love me we're playing this one show, so I play guitar during this time, and I always have this mic stand like this. And I've knocked my teeth out probably 45 times on microphones and guitars my whole life. So if anybody gets this thing near me, I'm like, fuck you. And this dude, this dude's doing this. All I can see is this little head of this guy and this, this arm, and he looks like this. <laughs> the whole time, I'm like, does he, does he like me? I don't know. So I'm playing, and he starts hitting my mic stand like that. I'm like, whoa. All right, maybe it was an accident. One more time. Does it again. I'm like... Motherfucker. <laughs> so I look over to Ray and I'm like, this dude's got one more chance. Three strikes and he's out. <laughs> I go back to the mic. I did like this and I lost all control. I threw my guitar behind my back. I jumped. I grabbed him by the back of his fucking head and I punched him as many times as I could. <laughs> Before the bouncer grabs me and he body slams me back on the stage. Because to him, I probably like I was just insane. <laughs> and I land on the ground and my guitar is like wide open. It's like, Aah! and so my band's like, what do we do? 
follow him. I had nowhere to go. There's no backstage. I can't do anything. I'm like, fuck. So, so my guitar tech tunes my guitar. We finished the set. Everyone goes crazy. Like, man, Wednesday's out of control. He's beating people up. It's fucking crazy. I walk off stage. Everybody's like, dude, that was that was crazy. That's cool. You kicked that guy's ass. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. Whatever. I did it. So I walk out to the bus, and there's some fans are waiting. I'm signing some stuff, and this guy walks up to me, and he goes, he goes, Wednesday, man, I'm so sorry. Would you please come back to our country again? Don't, don't, don't judge us on on that on that person. I was like, it's cool, dude. I took care of it, and he was like, she deserved it. <laughs> Brilliant Wednesday, yeah. I've never seen an acoustic before with him, but um, oh, it's probably one of my favourite gigs I've been to with his. It was just so good. <coughs> he was doing like question and answers and ten minute stories, and it was just so good for a Wednesday fan. That was amazing. So, absolutely brilliant day, brilliant gig. Nice to see Kirsty. London is amazing as always. I'm on the train, I'm absolutely knackered. I've been up since six o'clock this morning, and it's like 11, 11 o'clock or something. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. Um, please let me know in the comments if you did and if you didn't or whatever. Um, and I guess I'll speak to you soon. Um, got a little trip planned very soon. We did a lot of vlogging, so watch out for that, guys. If you're not subscribed, then please do. And I will see you soon. Take care, guys. Bye. <laughs>